going casual with today's video. I've got cozy jumper on, hair up, and I wanna just chat about some brands that I have been looking at and wanting to try for some of them for ages, years, and then some have come onto my radar more recently. So I thought this would be a fun video. It will also help me to know what brands you might want me to review in the upcoming year. If any of these are on your list as well and you'd like me to make a video on them, then let me know down below. The first brand is one that I put on this list when I was um, scripting this video and then since then I have actually tried the brand and love the brand, fallen in love with the brand. Um, so this one is an exception, I have tried this, um, and that is the Curated. So. I bought a bag from The Curated probably about a month ago now, um, the classic shoulder bag in the chocolate leather. Absolutely love it, the quality is outstanding and so is the quality of the Curated coat that I have as well. I have the boyfriend coat in the camel colour and I love that as well. Yeah, The Curated is up there with one of my favourite brands now, probably my favourite brand for basics, high quality luxury basics. Obviously they are a luxury price point, they are quite expensive and um, definitely investment pieces but I think if you have any of those on your wish list, if you're think thinking like I really want to spend the money and get a really good quality wool cashmere coat or a really good quality leather bag, actually their bags aren't overly expensive um, as far as bags go, um, I think they're definitely one to check out because yeah the quality is just top notch and they do some gorgeous basics in terms of clothes as well like cashmere jumpers, um, I think like accessories like hats and scarves and gloves and stuff like that so would definitely recommend the curated and I'm kind of itching to try a few more of their things at some point as well. Next up we have a brand that's been on my radar probably for about a year now but I haven't tried anything from. I was trying to think if I have tried anything from this brand but I definitely haven't and that is Me and M and I feel like Me and M is somewhat similar to the curated in that they mostly do basics. Well not necessarily, they do a lot of basics but they also do some more statement pieces as well and their collection is quite, is quite refined. I would say a lot of it leans more towards almost casual workwear um, than like fashionable, very pretty pieces. Um, but the quality looks really good on a lot of their items. I know they have like 100% silk gorgeous dresses, knitwear that's cashmere and wool and things like that. And I would love to try them for a video maybe because I've heard a lot of people rave about their quality and say that it is some of the best out there. And their price point isn't crazy. I would say it's less than the curated. You're looking at about maybe 150, 200 pounds for a jumper. So definitely expensive, but almost comparable to Cezanne prices and I've heard their quality is quite a bit superior to a lot of brands like Cezanne. So yeah, um, Me and M is definitely one that I would like to try. Let me know if you've tried them down below. The third brand is a brand that is definitely... I don't know if I'm just influenced to want to try this brand because of all the people I see on Instagram particularly wearing it. Um, it's definitely a more high-end designer brand but that is Totem and I think there are a few pieces from Totem that have also almost become kind of cult classics and they sell out completely because everyone wants them and even though their price point is really expensive people are still buying them. Particularly I'm thinking of the scarf coat from Totem. Um, that one I really like and I would love to own. It is probably about a thousand pounds, maybe it's about 800 depending on the one you get. It comes in a few different colours. Um, it's a really unique design and it's definitely recognisable as Totem. People kind of al almost immediately know um, if, if you're into fashion um, that it's from Totem. And they do have some nice, I think, you know, some of their stuff is very basic, like black trousers and simple knits. And I wouldn't necessarily spend the money on those because I would probably go to a brand, a smaller brand like the Curated for stuff like that. But for those more kind of special, unique, very different pieces like the scarf coat that not a lot of other brands are doing yet, um, then yeah, I would, I would love, it's basically just that coat I really want to own. Um, it's completely out of stock almost all the time and also I just don't think I would spend that kind of money on it. Never say never, but probably not. But yeah, I love seeing it on other people as well. The next brand is one that I definitely want to try in the next year or so, hopefully, and that is Pelen. Now Pelen, you see everywhere, particularly with people who like Cezanne and Rouge and, and other stories, I feel like Pelen is definitely in that group. If you haven't heard of them, they make leather bags and leather goods, and they're just really beautiful. They have some really unique designs. I think that's the thing about a lot of these brands is 
they specialize in one or two things and they do those really well and they have some really different styles that you just can't find anywhere else if you go to cause or and other stories or more fast fashion brands like h&m you just don't see stuff like this particularly i think it's their numero neuf um i love the design of that bag and i think in the last few months they've also brought out a couple of new styles and they're just really unique shapes they're shapes of leather bags that you you don't see anywhere else and i think Again, the quality looks nice. Um, the price point is reasonable in the sort of 300, 400 pound mark. Um, so yeah, I would definitely love a Palen bag, maybe. Maybe I will buy one for a review video and show you what it's like if you've been interested in trying the brand. But yeah, I like that they have lots of different colors as well. They have like the classic leather colors, but they do usually do the bags in the greens and burgundies and blues and you can find like the perfect bag for you, you know, the perfect shade, the perfect shape, the perfect size. Um, they do some of their bags in mini versions and like full size versions. Just love them, love them. The next brand is one that I have spoken about a couple of times on my ch channel and I haven't yet bought anything from them and they're a small female owned brand which I love and that is with nothing underneath and they specialise again they specialise in one thing basically and just do that thing really well which I think is great and always how you find the best brands and that is shirts so they do cotton shirts linen shirts silk shirts all really high quality and well made and designed I think all in England and yeah I would love to own a shirt and try it maybe a couple of their shirts I have my eye on the linen ones for summer also the like flannel brushed cotton ones as well those are really nice particularly around Christmas time in December I think those are perfect for this time of year I think they're a good brand for gifts as well I think I included them in my gift guide last year because there's something really special about receiving a shirt like that and you can also get them embroidered so you can get like their initials embroidered either on the chest or even on the cuff for something a little bit more subtle and that's obviously just a nice personalized touch for a gift so if, you, if you're looking for a gift for like a fashion lover um, I definitely think that's one to consider and it's nice obviously to know that you're supporting a small female owned company the next brand on this list is Bobby's. The next two brands are actually footwear brands. And Bobby's is, again, if you've heard of Cezanne, you love Cezanne, you like French fashion, then you probably know who Bobby's are. Their shoes are exquisite. I think they are gorgeous. They look really high quality and I just would love to try them. I think they do so many different nice styles, whether it's winter boots, loafers, sandals, they've got a little bit of everything. And they're all, I think they're all made in somewhere in Europe. Um, and just, again, they look like a nice brand. Again, a brand that do one thing and they do it well. They do shoes and they do it really well. And I would love to try maybe for a video, a few different pairs from Bobby's and see if the quality is superior. They're around the same price point as Cezanne shoes. So I'd like, I'd be interested to compare the two and see if the quality of Bobby's is better. Um, I imagine it might be. And yeah, try on their styles and see if they're comfortable, things like that. So definitely, I mean, I would love a pair of boots from Bobby's in particular. Some of their leather boots, I'm thinking like a rich chocolate brown leather boot. Um, mm, gorgeous. The next brand is another boot brand, primarily, or shoe brand, and that is Duo Boots. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they make boots and they make them for, particularly for people with wide calves. So I definitely have wide calves and that is one of the reasons I don't own any knee length boots or over the knee boots or tall boots in general, because most of them just don't fit me. Um, but Duo Boots make them, you can kind of put in the exact width of your calf and they will um, have them made especially. And I really like this idea and I would love to try some and see if they genuinely do fit because I'm always a bit wary of that. Are they still going to be too small? Um, and yeah, what is the quality like? What are the styles like? Um, so yeah, I would really love to do a video trying duo boots. Um, it's just, I guess, a bit of a commitment because I don't know if their return, what their returns policy is like if they don't fit because obviously they are, I don't know if they're custom made or if they just have lots of different sizes. I'm not sure. Um, but either way, yeah, I want to look into that more and potentially order a pair because I would love to have a pair of knee length boots or just tall boots I think a lot of the time when I'm styling my outfits I feel like that's what I'm missing I've got ankle boots I've got heeled boots I've got flat boots I've got other types of shoes but I don't have any tall boots and sometimes an outfit is just screaming out for a tall boot Okay, that is it. Those are all the brands that are currently on my wish list, my radar, things that I want to try maybe over the next year or so. Let me know if there are any I'm missing. I know there are so many more brands. I can even think of more right now, but those are the ones that are like top, top of my list and I would definitely like to try very, very soon. So yeah, let me know if there's any I should try, anything that I'm really missing. Um, I would love to know any brands that you've been interested in as well. Um, I think it's nice to kind of venture away sometimes from our very 
comfort zone brands like Cezanne and other stories cause for me those are the brands I go back to and back to time and time again and I love them particularly Cezanne but sometimes it's nice to try new things particularly smaller companies you know more sustainable companies that are doing things in smaller quantities I think is always a good idea I hope you enjoyed this video um give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you did it really helps my channel out it really helps me grow um and get in front of more people's eyes if you want to come back tomorrow i will be posting another fashion video i'm posting every day until christmas day in december so there'll be lots of fashion related content for you to enjoy i hope you're having a lovely festive period and i'll see you very soon in my next video